so cold today it's minus six outside and um, uh, Ross is working on his bike so yeah the latest acquisition um, not what most people expected probably um, this is um, this is a 1984 version of the bike I had in 1978 uh, it's called a Z50 and they like the entry point for kids who are learning to ride uh, motorbikes and yeah the nice little 50cc engine um, a three-speed automatic gearbox and so no clutch they have to work out it came with this seat on it which is uh, very ratty I mean about the only good thing of this seat is the fact that the base is still in very good shape but the rest of it is rubbish the seat covers ripped up the foam is missing in chunks and it's um, yeah it had to come off I got a replacement seat which is very very nice and so it's um, it's a 1984 model but the guy who I bought it from didn't really know much I don't know whether he put this on there but this isn't the right seat for that model bike anyway the blue seats I think they only they started appearing on the models from 1986 onwards and as I said, this is an 84. Everything else seems to be, um, you know, fairly uh, original, perhaps not that. Um, but it's missing the front mudguard, which I'm getting. You can see the fork seals have been uh, leaking a lot, so I've got to pull them apart and tidy that up a little bit. The motor is in pretty good shape, but <clears throat> he gave me a bag of um, pieces which contain largely electrical stuff, condensers and... Um, points and other ignition bits so I'm guessing that's why this case isn't on type because um, he was trying to get that working and then I guess he just put it on their finger type because he hasn't finished fixing it up yet what is this one is this the pedal that's the gear lever oh, okay. <laughs> this, this is where you put your foot and that's where you I change see. the gears with your left foot yep. and go around to the right side yep and on um, most Japanese bikes anyway, the brakes are on the right hand side, so that's your back brake. Uh -huh. On the other side is the gears, and then your front brake is always up here on the right hand side next to your throttle, uh -huh. or the gasser as we say. This is the on off switch, so uh, yeah. Um, there's a couple of things missing. There's a, a, a air vent missing from here, a tube, which I, you know, it's easy enough to replace. The tank is a little dented up, uh, it's not too bad. For now I'm not going to worry about that, I want to get the bike running and um, you know, just have fun with it. And it may be a keeper because it has you know, slight sentimental value. So Ross, so you're saying you swapped the old Bridgestone bike, which was probably three times the size of this one, yeah. into this little tiny Z50. I did, and you know, I guess at first, um, when you first hear that, you think, you know, you got ripped off, what a stupid decision. The thing is, the Bridgestones, as rare as they are, and as collectible as they are, they're only really valuable, you know, high dollar value when they're fully restored. And to fully restore the Bridgestone would have taken a lot of time and money, and I don't have the space to do that anyway. It'd be good for me though, not for you. Perfect! <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably a better sized bike for you to learn on. <laughs> if you get a bit leery and you, and you get scared you think you're going to crash, you can just stand up and let, <laughs> let go. <Yeah. laughs> it's already looking so well, so much better than yeah. before. Um, so the old bars used to be on a different setup here, top plate, they were bent right back and you can see you can't adjust them, you put them in and they're stuck there. So they were bent back and if somebody who'd had a crash and hit so hard that the steering turned this way and smashed the tank. The tank still holds gas okay. Um, so I bought a, a new um, top yoke which puts the handlebars a little bit further forward and then these are BMX bars off a bicycle but they're new so um, yeah so that's the setup for that and then I hope to get a replacement exhaust because there's a shield that goes on here and it's meant to screw into that and then obviously it's got this massive crack here 
So this whole thing is, is scrap metal now. So I've got a replacement one. I don't know if you want to come around here and show that. So yeah, that whole thing is one piece and it's new, it's nice. The brake pedal is also um, swapped out because the other one was bent and it was coming up here and it was hitting here and damaging this. So this was not good. So this now sits back under where it should. Um, that's all back into place. And yeah, I've just got a couple more bits coming. Yeah, so um, I've just put a new fuel filter on. I have to trim those bits up. Um, I had to put a new gear lever on because the other one was um, really badly bent so this is good and it's got a, a fold back thing so if you're riding in the bush and you hit a, a stump or a rock it just pushes back and it doesn't bend off or break so that's cool and the other thing you can see is how small this engine is it's so easy to work on way less complicated um, you know for somebody with my um, short attention span Still, once I get it, you know, complete with all the bits that it's missing, I'm going to take it to a shop and say, can you please get it running, tune it up, and then once it's running, it'll stay running. That's the beauty of these Honda engines. They just run, they start first kick every time for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. It's all tucked in. Oh, and look, it looks so cute there. Okay. It looks like a little kid that's got his head stuck between the seats going, are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're off to um, Bay Cycles in Bayonne to drop the Z50 off. Woo! So have you ever watched Sopranos? This is what this neighborhood uh, reminds me of. Um, yeah, gangster-like a little bit, particularly on a day like today. I wouldn't want to be walking around here at night on your own. No? No, I don't know why. No, okay. But yeah, it just kind of has that feel to it. Bayonne in a very dodgy looking area I must say I don't oh, yeah. I don't want to spend too much time here but let's go lady it's going Yeah, see, so that was a model before the one that I got. Why well, have an SL70 upstairs? I just got from the bad, it's 71. Oh, SL70s are so beautiful. It's just like a, you know, a full bike for Yeah, it's sexy, yeah. Yeah, very sexy. Yeah, there's more Yeah, this, this one, my old man, my old man was the second owner on it, and the old lady he got it from used to ride it on the and street all over the place. And it has the street. title and everything. Can you imagine? <laughs> Someone riding down the road on one of those little things. <laughs> Go to the shop. Ride around town, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this was a train wreck. It was in a, a garage that collapsed. Right. We laced the wheels, we polished, fork tubes, fixed some chrome, polished the motor up, wow. the transmission. Put a developed chick head around it, made in Great Britain, UK. There you go. There you go, yeah. mate. Well, I'm Australian. Oh, no, sorry, Everybody man. makes that mistake. Yeah, it's a mistake. There I go. Yeah. I caught it now, right? Yeah. So that's that's what that's this bike. bike looked like standard ah. from the factory. Oh, look at the paint I just did. Little chunk. That's nice and cool. That's nice and cool. Peugeot. Peugeot, yeah. See? It's like a military military bike. Yeah. Peugeot. Can you imagine that yeah. Yeah. French soldiers were probably riding yeah. this thing through the French countryside during you know, World War II? Very comfortable seat. This is like a candy shop for us. <laughs> I told you. So what here is this CR one spot? That's a 
85. Oh, 85. Yeah. Okay, it's not only 85. This one has a white one. It looks like four originals I'm going to see. Oh, wow. Old Bonnie. That's lovely. Yeah. And what is it? A Bonnie 650. Bonneville, yeah. 1966. So that's a Triumph and a Bonneville. Nice. The tag is white and orange. The original paint is still on it. It's pristine. It's a good cleanup. Cheers. Amazing engineering for yeah. the year, yeah. right? Yeah. There's a Sunbeam tank right there. Ah. I love the patina on it. Well, yeah. the roughness, you know, they call yeah. it patina. Yeah, they call it patina. That's How right. worn out it is. Hey, look at this. This is like perfect for your knees, right? Yeah. <laughs> morning, all. It's a um, chilly Saturday morning, and we are on our way to Bay Cycles to pick up the Honda Z50. And um, the guy down there got it running. He said it's a you know great little bike, and um, yeah, looking forward to picking it up and getting it home. The work that the guy had to do on the bike was more um, tuning it and kind of fixing the um, fixing the work that the previous owner had done. So, and today I'm going to be sporting my underpants mask. <laughs> That's what I call it. It's a freebie that we scored from. Um, one of the airlines when we were traveling. Um, so yeah, it's good, isn't it? The only thing that's missing is the Y down the front. You know the Y fronts? Woo! Oh wow, all the bikes are out. So, yeah, fill the motor. Uh -huh. Feel it. Feel yeah. it? Touch it, touch it. How is it? Yeah. Ice and cold, right? It is. Okay, so here we go. Put it on run. Put the gas on. Now it's been inside, so I wouldn't give it any choke. Okay. I would just give it a fucking. No way. Wow. <laughs> and even without those uh, clips there, it's so quiet. <laughs> I readjusted and pushed it up in there. Okay. Cool. Now here's one thing. It's a Chinese throttle. Look at this. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> evil, evil can evil style over here. So you can gas off and you're still gas yeah. it on. I took it apart. There's supposed to be a stopper in there. Right. It's a good ride. Yeah. That gas now and how old that gas is here. Yeah, exactly. But still one, okay. Yeah, so, so what, that's off there? This is off, this is on. That's straight yeah. down. That is a reserve. But the reserve, I checked, I had to point the reserve, does not work. That's okay. All right, well, you got to remember, you're going to look at it one day, and it's going to die on you and say, Yeah, Enjoy your day. Bye. Bye-bye. sure about this blue breather pipe but anyway um, and it's running fine listen to how it revs very nice and uh, yeah I put a, a, a skid plate on there to protect the engine because the engine's just kind of hanging down with no frame work so that skid plate uh, a bash plate or whatever you want to call it